Oh man, what is going on in the hockey world that I can talk about today? Oh, hi! I didn't see you there. You know what, I've been thinking for the last little while, I, I'm not really sure there's anything to talk about in the hockey world. I mean, there's some stuff, the expansion and all that, but we were talking about that on my podcast, and now I think it's time to let the Pan Am Games have the spotlight. Okay? Okay, so now let's go to Twitter and see what people are saying. What the f- How is- What? What? This is- Okay, I gotta, I gotta read about this before I can even talk about it. Uh, let's see, who had this? Who had this? Nobody? What the- I didn't even know he was fired! Did he get fired? Did he quit? Am I dreaming? What is this? I can't even- The Leafs hired Lou Lamorello as their new general manager. Go away, I'm reading! On sportsnet.ca, you see, because- Wow, I was- Wow! I mean, I was really here ready to talk about the Pan Am Games and all the exciting events like the 100 meter dash and the other ones. And the Leafs- <laughs> Well now, I, I guess- I guess we start with the Leafs Charlie's Angels are complete. Mark Hunter, Kyle Dubas, and Brandon Pridham, those are the Angels. And Brandon Shanahan is Charlie. Good morning, Angels. Good morning, Shanny. What the Leafs have been lacking in this little structure that they've created is a Bosley. Lou Lamorello is now Bosley. An old, old, such an old Bosley! Lou Lamorello became the president of the New Jersey Devils in April of 1987. Kyle Dubas was born in November of 1986. Oh, this is gonna be the best buddy cop movie ever! Lou Lamorello's career as an NHL president predates my career as a human being! Lou Lamorello was born in October of 1942, which means he has been alive for nine Leafs Stanley Cups. Would have been alive for ten, but he was born a few months late for the one in 1942. Darn. I guess the tenth one will have to come now. As in this season- I'm kidding, I'm not crazy. Alright, so here's the good with Lou Lamorello. The Devils, for the longest time, were sick. Disgustingly sick. A very good team. Three Stanley Cup wins, not to mention a few other births in the Stanley Cup Finals. You could argue that the Devils have been a legitimate modern day dynasty. The likes to go through there during Lamorello's tenure include, oh I don't know, Martin Brodeur, Scott Niedemeyer, Scott Stevens, bunch of Scots. I grew up knowing the Devils as a boring team, but that's because I was cheering against them. When your team is boring, you know it as defensively sound. Games that end one nothing are always more exciting when your team is the one instead of the nothing. The bad is, well, I don't know, maybe that whole Ilya Kovalchuk saga? Which was like a big chunk of the most recent lockout. Devils kind of got fined, something about picks that it, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I certainly don't have Kovalchuk anymore. And let's look at the New Jersey Devils roster and, oh, look at that, it's in shambles. And is that gonna happen to the Leafs? My guess is no. Look, I know I I like to yell and scream and go crazy and everything and this is very unexpected news and it came in a slow news cycle and there's really not much else to talk about but let's not lose our heads. I mean a bunch of people have made the joke oh watch Lou Lamorello fire Mike Babcock and then make himself the coach lol shut up. What I was just making a joke. Sorry but my team choked on a lead that had never been choked on before so excuse me if I'm a little superstitious. I'm yelling at myself. Anyway the point is this all right Lou Lamorello is the new Leafs general manager. Woo! All right, so does that mean he's gonna go in and go, excuse me there, Mike Babcock, you and everything can, can shut up now. Oh, hi, Mr. Lamorello, nice to meet you, I'm Kyle Dubin. And Lamorello just stunners him, steals Brandon Pridham's calculator and beats Mark Hunter over the head with it, and rubs his shoes all over Brendan Shanahan's couch. Less than a month into this NHL season, Lou Lamorello is going to be 73 years old. If you took Brendan Shanahan's, Mark Hunter's, Kyle Dubas's, and Brandon Pridham's combined experience as NHL executives, Lou Lamorello's experience would still like quintuple it. It might even be more than that, but I don't know what the tuple is for six. I think it's six tuple? I don't know. I would have a hard time believing after the last like six months and all the change that has happened in the Leafs organization that Brandon Shanahan would bring in a new GM, Lou Lamorello, and tell him to huff and puff and blow the house down. He brings lots of experience, he's seen some ish, and odds are he's not gonna tolerate your ish. But one thing I do know, like that, it's all eyes on Lou. Like, oh, Carlisle's gone, Nonus is gone, and all of a sudden, all the eyes start to focus on Shanahan. The draft comes around, there's a bunch of little moves, and everyone goes, ooh, Kyle Dubas, and ooh, Mark Hunter. Babcock, oh, oh, Kessel Train, oh, oh. Lou Lamorello hiring, what smokescreen? And they go back into the shadows a little bit. If I had to guess, and I may be severely wrong, you could almost give Lamorello a interim GM status. Because I would be very surprised if a man of that age stayed in any NHL GM that long. It's funny because just yesterday I see pictures of Kyle Dubas at an Orlando Solar Bears press conference. Now some of you might not even know what the Solar Bears are. It's the Leafs ECHL affiliate. And he's introducing the new head coach and he's taking pictures with the mascot. Hey, what's up? And I'm thinking to myself, 
When was the last time an NHL GM went to an ECHL press conference? Because that's not something I think an NHL GM would typically do. An assistant GM might. Today, boom. So what do you think about all this? Because I'm, I'm truthfully having trouble processing it. I'm not happy or sad. I don't know how to feel. I actually have no idea. Because it's not like they brought in Lamorello to recreate the current incarnation of the New Jersey Devils. And it's a completely different era, so you can't recreate the past incarnation of them. So, what, what is going on here? And, uh, what's gonna happen next? I don't even know. I don't even know what is gonna happen.